On April 13th, the new National Women's Soccer League kicks off as the Portland Thorns visit FC Kansas City. While here in the Netherlands with the U.S. team, we talked to a few key players from those clubs to get their thoughts on playing in the inaugural match of the NWSL. I mean, I think we're really excited to be playing in the inaugural match. Um, you know, there's been a lot of anticipation about this league, and um, I think it's just great that we're all part of it and that it's actually happening. Um, so we just can't wait for that whistle to blow and get, get started with that first game. It's cool to start off the new league um, with the Thorns and Kansas City. I mean, I've been looking forward to this league um, since it was announced. And although we haven't gotten much um, time with our own teams, um, looking forward to start off the league and uh, see the quality and the competition that we have out there. You know, it's definitely exciting just to have the inaugural game of, of a new league starting up, uh, but to have it at home, it's it's always an advantage to have your, your home crowd behind you. And it's going to be exciting to, you know, meet the fans. We haven't really been out and had the chance to have them supporting us. So to have that opening game at home is huge and should be fun, good environment. Which I think with Shay, Barney and Mew as the four of us here, we have a bigger core than any of the other NWSL teams. So as much as we can play together here, I think it'll translate well over to FC Kansas City. And we have a great core with, uh, we have a Mexican player that's really great, Renee, and then our two Canadians. And so there's a strong core that we haven't been there a whole lot though, unfortunately, in preseason. So it'll take uh, hopefully a day or two before we gel. Becky, uh, Mewis, and Barney, obviously that's like solid through every line. Um, Mewis actually plays attacking uh, mid for us. So obviously I think we have a strong attack and Becky and Barney hold back the back line and it's a lot of fun. Obviously Portland's gonna be a great team. Um, I think Kansas City, we're gonna surprise some people and I like the team that we've gotten. It'll be great to play against Chaney, Becky, Barney. I mean, I play against them every day so I know their weaknesses. I mean, we have, we have a good defending line. We have KK in the back and goal. We have Sink up top. Um, me and her pl have played together before, so that'll be great. Um, we have some quality midfielders that aren't necessarily with the national team, but um, have proven themselves over and over in the past leagues. Um, so I think that we have a quality team. It's just about getting together, um, getting that practice time in and getting rhythm with our own team. Definitely going to be a good challenge for our first game together as a team or first real game together as a team. Um, you know, with both Alex and Sink, it's a lot of uh, speed and talent coming at us. So it'll be a good test for, you know, our, our back line and our whole team. You know, we all know each other so well, but it just makes for a really high level game. I think a very competitive game, um, a game where we probably kind of know each other's tendencies, but it's, we're all just going to bring it and do our very best. I'm really excited for the league. The WPS for me is the reason that I made the national team. And so I know what a, a domestic league can do for players. And I hope that um, with that platform, other players like me can, can be seen by the coaching staff and make their way into this team. I think soccer in the States is just growing and growing, but this is a really important component of that to allow, you know, girls past college to be able to continue to play here in the States. And, you know, then they can get seen by our, Tom and, um, you know, really just hopefully feed into our national team program and just, you know, allow for, you know, a lead to thrive here as well and make, make it a profession for women in, in the States. Obviously, being able to play at home and uh, have competition day in and day out and be able to train at that, you know, higher level to be able to prepare for this team is great for us. Yeah, I mean, I can't tell you how hard it is to try and find um, a couple players, you know, in the area that I live in to train with. Uh, it's so much easier and better um, to improve the game and for the development of us to go into a team and play consistent, consistently with a team um, and have the availability to um, balls every day, to a net, to a field with 20 players and great coaches. So um, it's important for me and I'm really looking forward to it. You can follow many of your favorite players throughout the NWSL season that runs from April through August. For a complete schedule, go to nwslsoccer.com. From the Hague, Netherlands, that's it for this edition of Studio 90.